And we're back with some more divinity. We left off after ki killing off some crocodiles and gaining some teleportation gloves. And now we wait for the long loading screen at the start. for this game. Right, right where we left off. Can we do something? Nope. Can't even get past the rocks. Bear. Nothing. Ooh, gold. Let's go around here. Margo, what do you have to say? The woman looks out on the gently lapping waves. She seems totally at peace, but as you approach, she turns to you with a cheerful smile. Haven't seen you around here before. New? We've just arrived. Don't worry too much if you have a hard time settling in. Takes a while to get used to the place. Okay. You here alone? Uh, they mean a lot to me because we kind of want to keep them with us. She gives you a long look. You keep them friends of yours close, eh? Some of us haven't got anyone at all anymore. Oh. Not much in this world someone you love can't make better. Thank her for the advice. Roll your eyes. You didn't ask for make sure that's too mean. Ask why she's here alone. It used to be I had a family. A husband and a little boy. We were healers. Source was in our blood. Then they brought us here. I couldn't stop them from taking my boys from me when they did. Aww. Reckon they were cured. Maybe even released. Don't know why the Reds didn't take me too. That's me. Separate. Now them. I'm just waiting for them to call my name. Waiting and remembering. What were her boys her like? Sparkle. Kind of you to ask. Stefan, he was my little one. Smart as a whip and no less wicked. And my husband, he was called Felix. He was an expert healer. Could fix a broken bone in a short minute. She talks for some time about birthdays, about Felix's prickly beard, about the skunk Stefan once dragged home for a pet. Joy radiates from her as she remembers. She places a warm hand on your shoulder. What a gift to think of them. I'd like to give something Ooh, to you. Ooh, restoration too. spell. A family recipe. One of Felix's best. He'd be happy to know it went to such a, a warm soul. I don't have a soul. I'm dead. Take care of yourself. You hear? You're a sweet one. Thank you. You're sweet too. What's over here? Mm. Mm -hmm. Here Elf. you are. 
I wonder what keeps you. Tell me your tale. Ask what he means. Ask what he wants to know. Let's do elf because I I'm an elf. elf. The tongue of others is not my tongue. You may speak of then and when. I do not. I refuse to learn their strange speech. Start from the beginning. Start from where you come. So you came from a place not so far from here. We call the far off land from which we traveled. And your origins are too strange to be believed. Well, we're dead, so we don't have origins. Uh, let's do far off land. I see, I see. Now tell me more. Tell me what you do. So tell you me what you make amends, a debt repaid. Cannot say what you seek. Well, we don't really know, so amends? I understand. Now tell me how your story ends. Hope to gain great power. Hope to find something you lost. Hope your burdens will be lifted. I was going to see it lifted burdens, considering we are very much can. undead and we shouldn't I be looking near. Wish comes true. So we must have done something. Take this rope. It is a gift. It is common, but it helps you lift burdens. It is nothing. Many fragments swell on my shore. We just got rope. See what I gather. What are we going to use rope for? <sighs> I should still look. Fortify. Poison dart. Fossil strike. Okay, we've already got those. Poison dart. Uh, creates a puddle of poison. That would be nice. Um, that's 297. Um, that'd be useful, so... Oh! We have plenty! Never mind, we don't gotta sell him anything. Ah, yes! Take your leave. Whisper word! Around and around and around. Oh, puppers! The old dog looks up at you, but doesn't lift his graying head from his paws. He heaves a heavy sigh. It's, What's the matter? It's no use anyway. Tell them to try. You're, you're nice. Emmy would have... All right, Emmy. Emmy would have loved you. She was my mate for the last 57. Aww. Plus 50. Five years! The Magisters, they took her. Oh, poor puppers. I tell the dog, no, that's mean. Scratch behind the pooch's ear, he was not alone. No, ask if he's seen his mate nope. since she was taken. I haven't smelled her either. She was real bright, you know. Had the best sniffer you've ever seen. I guess that's why they wanted her, not me. Oh, poor buddy. Hey, let me show you something. What you gonna show me, boy? Ooh, key. Buddy's key. Thank you, buddy. Empty. Empty. Ooh. Oh, hey! Hey! I thought you might be Emmy. It's... It's nice to see you. For he last you saw. But she was taken by a guy in a white oh, robe bro. who smelled horrible, like lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of dogs, and also a little like, like dead people. He dragged her to the big castle just there. I'm so worried about her. Maybe you can use the key. Okay. Oh, the key! The magister who took Emmy dropped it when he was walking away. Did someone say Emmy? Oh, Emmy. If you find out where it leads, if you see Emmy, tell her I miss her. Oh, give his belly a little rub. You. <laughs> I think I love you. Oh, thanks. Yeah. You know what? Out oh, my, out oh, my face! I'll oh, put your lights out. Like a living coward. Well, let's heal him. He's only got one health. Refusing the potion. 
food. You're trying to kill me, ain't you? Git! Git! Those bleeding fools think think they run the place. But but I showed them. Um so, winters. First, always win. Second, never lose. Who are you? Some kind of kind of idiot. I'm not the one that's dying. Rude. Mutilated. Oh, that's a save point. Something must be going on up here. Eating corpses. Okay. Let's go talk to the thing. The creature heaves through lips gummed with human gore. It turns to you with great effort, pain apparent in every movement, and madness screams from its wide, bloodshot eyes. Mm. You, 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 you. Quite lost. Quite lost. Quite lost. Careful, or they'll cross your wires. <laughs> now, a little query. Where grows the yarrow? Crosshair. We picked up yarrow mm -hmm. flower. Quickly now, for I haven't much time. Maybe the yarrow plant? The creature gingerly takes the plant into his bloodied hands. He runs his fingertips over the white flowers. His panting breath slows. Darling, dear. Dear, darling child. Hello, yarrow girl. Can it really be you? Let's uh, back away. His eyes snap up to meet yours. No. Nope. You, my oh. ring, part of me, name of Migo. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Chest. Yoink. Oh, that's better than um what's his what's his name? We'll just switch you out. There we go. Okay, so we've got a ring. You already know it. There's them. So. You looking for a match? You'll have a good head on most of the competition. That's for certain. A <laughs> good tail too. Poor lugs won't know what hit them. Nothing I can tell you. You can't find out by slipping down that hatch. If you've got the spit in you, that is. Well, I'm not done looking around up here. Lots of red stuff, which, yes, yeah, steel. We don't want to steal, that'll get us in trouble. Griff is slowly, methodically peeling the skin from a potato. As you approach, he looks up, setting the potato, but not the sharp little knife down on the table. What? <clears throat> Who's asking? He smirks and holds the little knife up to the light, watching it glint. I'm listening. Well, they'll cure you of your sauce. Nightshade will cure you of an headache, too. Okay. He points the tip of his blade at the grisly sight of the elf hunched over, clutching his knees in the cage. I solve my own problems. Can't help you there. <coughs> if I could, I wouldn't be here peeling goddamn potatoes. Okay, because I think that'll just start a fight, and we don't want him to dislike us because he's pure sure. wolves. Have a look. So we'll just good do this. Stuff, huh? This isn't good stuff. The only thing good you've got is the freaking invisible visibility potion. I have stuff better than that. 
I got that special shipment you was asking after. Give it down, will you? Just give me the fourfold. I'll take your leave. Let's see, maybe you find. Griff glances from his blade to you and back again. He smirks and holds the. I'm yeah. listening. He points the tip of his blade. I solve my own problems. Take your leave. Yeah, nothing changed. Okay, let's do the. Leave him be. Don't make me say it again. Listen, I can help you if you just. Is it enough? Shut up, elf. This time, he caught him stealing from my kitchen. <clears throat> Still won't say where he stashed my supplies. Sound like someone you'd let off with a slap on the wrist. Supplies. A crate of food. A citrus in particular. <clears throat> he'll talk, or he'll die quiet. All I want is my supplies. <clears throat> Happy to let this clown die in a gutter instead of my kitchen. Bring back my crate, and you got yourself a deal. Okay. Okay, that's where that dude was. I think there's a cave. We didn't go over here. So, we'll just... Like the crate I'm after. Oh, but where are the contents? It's empty. Sting Just tail. as you're about to address the lizard, the red prince bars you with an outstretched arm. Okay. This man is a dreamer. As you know, I need a word with him. You may wait here while I speak. Okay. Permission, indeed. He bids the dreamer stand up and pay I mean, when we first got with this dude, that's exactly what we were looking for, was a dreamer, so I guess we found him. The dreamer then chews and swallows a handful of Drudene leaves before slipping into a trance-like state. He falls asleep. To your surprise, the Red Prince lies down and follows suit. After about half an hour, they wake up and begin to discuss what they saw in their dreams. The Red Prince pinches the bridge of his nose in apparent irritation before turning his back on the jabbering dreamer. Oh, uh, not to with them. withering glance in response. Really? A deserved bit of sarcasm, I suppose. But though this Stingtail fellow may be a less than stellar specimen in the firmament of dreamers, the dreams themselves prove to be quite elucidating. Elucidating. I've no idea what that means. Turns out I'm being hunted by an enemy I didn't know actually existed. The myth-shrouded House of Shadow. The dreamers, though, they're on my side. And they visions of me on the throne. Little faith in visions. I mean, this is a game of magic, so... No, we'll just go with wonder if you start as worth the assassins. Of course it is. I was born with the promise of an empire, and that promise will be kept. Okay. But to keep it, I must find a second dreamer. A greater one. A more experienced traveler of the dream world. Okay. Bahara is her name, and she resides in the swamplands east of the fort. So, let us make our escape and venture there post haste. Okay. I mean, we intended on getting out of here anyways. that much drood in it. Huh? What? But I was... it was... Please, tell me. Tell me. I mean... Why did Camp you wake Foss me? was looking for oranges, so we'll do this one. And you would smell of burnt hair and barren dreams. But I had the good breeding not to mention it. Oranges. Uh, is that what he told you he's missing? Well, 
I suppose it's technically true. Though I'd guess Mr. Griff is more upset about the Drudene than the Citrus. The Drudene Griff cleverly smuggles into the prison, of course. Stuffed inside the oranges. You don't think he'd really be so mad over a little missing... Ah, uh, so Camp Griff? Camp Boss Griff is a drug lord. No, it's not the oranges, but the dreams he's after. Same as I, though. I have the right, the responsibility. It may be hard for you to understand. My kind, we dream for the greater good. What we see can predict the truth, can even shape the truth. But we need Drudene to do it. Before I was caught, before I was brought here, I saw a vision. The void woken, slain, divinity restored. But just as I was about to see how it happened, the Magisters beat down my door. This is my last chance to find out the secret. To find out how to save us all. So you see, I cannot give back the Drudene. Not only for myself, but for all of us. My dreams are my gift. They may be our salvation too. Uh, I'm finesse as shit. Our memory isn't that great. Let's, let's do intelligence. Yeah! To save a life. Ah, that elven fellow in the cage, I suppose. I knew he'd been suspected, but but it all seemed worth it if I could only dream again. Never mind. Take the oranges. The Drudene, that is. I'll find another An usually large orange. Okay. Oh, I didn't even see you there. Who are you? the squalor of Fort Joy, you suddenly spot an elf with diamond features, regal and radiant, but cold too, and sharper than any knife. Sibyl. She was the one who sat rolling dice in the ship that went under, deciding fates with every roll. Or so she said. Mm. Her eyes are focused on a lizard some distance away, and you get the distinct feeling he's an unfortunate man indeed to be trapped in her tiger-like gaze. No sooner have these words left your mouth than she turns about and grabs you in a stranglehold. You feel the tip of a long needle being pushed a little ways into one of your neck's vertebrae. Oh, she's a vicious you girl. me off guard. No one catches me off guard. Better tell me who you really are so I can decide your fate here and now. Um... Take it easy. But you did. And now the tables have turned. You look quite startled to me. A push, a pivot, and now you suddenly face her, the needle still all too deeply embedded in bone. Despite the precariousness of your situation, you notice something that remained undetected in the gloom of the ship, a flaw in her diamond features, a curiously shaped scar on her left cheek. Never ask a woman about her scars. Because it is my desire to question him intensely. As for the reason, you're staring at it. You see, once upon a bad old time, a lizard cut this thing, this living scar, into my cheek. The mark of a slave. But now I'm free, of sorts. And I've traced that lizard here, to Fort Joy. Hmm. I intend to raise the subject with him. She drives the needle in deeper and whispers, in truth, it does not matter in the least who you really are. You saw me mark my prey. You could warn him, save him, or kill him before I get my chance. That makes you a liability. That makes you needle feet. Hmm. Uh, let's see if she'll join us. The bright sparkle of laughter follows your proposal. <laughs> How amusing. I admit I had not seen that twist coming. I was certain the pitiful begging was about to begin. I don't beg. Make your case and do it quickly. Why should I join you? See, I think she'd survive just fine on her own. <laughs> Escape. <laughs> How you do tickle me. 
Most of the misguided deers around here would argue such a thing is impossible. We did save her. <laughs> well played. Oh, little needle mine, what should I do? Push or pull? Hmm, the agony of choice. You know what? Today is a rather fine day. Sunshine and an easy breeze. Yes, I'll let you live. I'll even agree to travel with you, provided we talk to that lizard I mentioned. Go. I'm not quite sure the weather will save him. I'm not concerned with the lizard with a anymore. flick of the wrist, she withdraws the needle from your neck and smiles, as if she just invited you to sit down for tea. As casual as only the living can be. So, you're an undead then. How very interesting. One can't but wonder what memories haunt the hollows of your windswept head. This may strike you as, um, rather eccentric. But the thought of traveling with one such as yourself quite enthuses me. She tilts her head ever so slightly and looks at you almost mockingly. You can't help but contemplate with both dread and delight the absolute darkness of the heart of her cat's eyes. <laughs> yes, this will be jolly good fun. Let's discuss our respective roles then, shall we? You, me, and Death will be playing many a round of hide and seek. So, what role would you like me to play? As a rogue, my speciality is stealth. The quick silence of the dagger striking unseen. That said, I'm perfectly lethal wielding any weapon or magic. So, the choice is yours. Let's go with a rogue. We could use a thief. Lead on, or better yet, let me take the lead. Then follow me. You're not quite certain you'll ever sleep soundly with Seville in any sort of proximity, but at least she's on your side for the moment. Okay, and she wanted to talk to this dude, so we'll just come over here and talk to this dude, yes? As you're about to approach the lizard, Seville cups your chin between thumb and index finger, then guides your eyes to hers. Listen, I need to have a chat with this here morsel of flesh. He has wronged me once, but may just do right by me this time. Well, we already dealt with him via Red Prince and doing the Griff. I don't think we're going to need him to again. To your surprise, Sabeel proceeds to throttle the unsuspecting lizard with one hand as she drives the tip of her needle into his lower belly with the other. Then, the questions commence. You hear him yelp about the master, lone wolves, and a man called Griff. Then, quite suddenly, there's blood everywhere as Stingtail falls to the ground, face first into his own intestines. Seville heaves a sigh of satisfaction, and as she wipes her needle clean, shoots you a cursory look. Chat's over. Obviously, you just killed him. Demon elf, how dare you strike down a dreamer? Hmm? Something on your mind? It's simple. He scarred me, so I scarred him. Extensively. She defies you with devilishly innocent eyes. Can you blame me? I mean, yeah, he did carve a living scar onto her face. She, a slave mark? There it is. I was wondering when your spying would make an appearance. It's under my clothes. Anyway, what's dead is done, so let's move on, shall we? Despite my high hopes, this scar disfigures me still. You know what? I'm feeling a bit peckish. And Stingtail mentioned a cook, as it happens. Fellow named Griff. Two birds, one stone. How about it? I mean, we gotta turn on the quest first before we- Ooh! Ooh. Yes, yes, I, I am- I am now perfectly okay with you having killed him. Yep, perfectly okay, because we just got a lot of skill books! And with that, we will end this episode here. Coming up in the next one, we will be talking to Griff. Will Seville kill him or let him live? Can't wait to find out.